Ferlinghetti's poem, Populist Manifesto, is a free-form beat poem from the era of wide-open poetry beginning in the 50s in the United States. Populist Manifesto is free of any meter or rhyme. Ferlinghetti employs rhyme in the last few stanzas of his poem, as if to entice the reader to take what he has to say to heart. The poem is rather lengthy and heavy in allusion to scholarly information, such as movements of art and history. He uses these allusions in a rather peculiar way. It's almost as if he is calling out the poets who have achieved a high level of academia for understanding what he is talking about. He is directing his poem at the academic poet. He is challenging the elite's concept of poetry. Ferlinghetti urges his readers, of who are mostly poets, to descend from their quiet lives in which they write trivial poetry void of any real substance, to begin writing about something that really matters. Ferlinghetti urges his readers to use poetry as a soapbox from which to radicalize the world. The poet should not be hidden from the rest of the world. The poet should be part of the revolution. Poets, come out of your closets, open your windows, open your doors. You have been holed up too long in your closed worlds. The trees are still falling and will to the woods no more. No time now for sitting in them as man burns down his own house to roast pig. No time now for the artist to hide above, beyond, behind the scenes, indifferent, paring his fingernails, refining himself out of existence. Poets, descend to the streets of the world once more and open your minds and eyes with the old visual delight. Clear your throat and speak up. Poetry is dead. Long live poetry. Terrible eyes of buffalo strength. Don't wait for the revolution, or it'll happen without you. Stop mumbling and speak out with a new, wide open poetry. Poetry still falls from the skies into our streets still open. They haven't put up the barricades yet. The streets still alive with faces. Lovely men and women still walking there. Still lovely creatures everywhere. In the eyes of all, the secret of all, still buried there. Whitman's wild children still sleeping there. Awake and walk in the open air.